Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to be using Faro Scene software. Uh, we're going to take a project that's already been registered. We're going to create a uh, what they call a map view now. It used to be an ortho view. Uh, but the reason we're going to do it is we're looking to create a rough uh, site plan for a building that doesn't have a, a set of blueprints with it. Maybe it's an older building. Uh, maybe it's a building that has been renovated several times and whatever plans they have are not up to date or not accurate. So uh, we're going to show how to uh, use our clip box and then create this um, this map view with a scale on it so that we can export that as a PDF file. Uh, sometimes if you're going to, say, use a digital twin platform and you want to uh, go walk a site with a 360 camera system, you're going to need a site plan to show where you have started and stopped inside of the structure when you're using the 360 camera captures. Uh, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, that is part of our digital twin series that we go through project management and how the 360 camera system and the platform can be used when you're uh, going to be managing, managing a construction project. So what we're doing today is we're going to create that site plan. So we uh, can jump into the explore here and we have already created a project point cloud. Now up in the right hand corner here, you can see the project point cloud option. Uh, we did this because we're going to be using a clip box. Now, if you're not, if you're new to using scene and you're not sure what uh, a project point cloud is or why you would use it, Basically, if you're going to open uh, a project like this in 3D, you would normally have to go to the scans either individually or the, the main scans folder. You'd have to right click and you'd load all the scans. Or if you just told, the, 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 told it that you would like to view it in 3D, it would then say, we're going to have to load all the scans. So uh, in this case, if the scans are 11 uh, million points per scan, it's going to take time to go through and load them all up. And as you can imagine, the larger the project, the larger the building, um, and if you're using an outdoor setting of, say, 44 million points per scan, you can see where the point cloud becomes very heavy very quickly. And it does tax and will sometimes crash your computer depending on how much RAM that you are using. So the best thing to do if you want to look at a project in 3D, if you want to use utilize things like the clip box, is just to go ahead and create the project point cloud. It's very easy. It gives you the option right here. And it only takes, in this case, a little less than five minutes. So as we do this here, we're going to uh, go to the middle of our tool bar on the top, add uh, auto add a clip box. And you know, as you can see, we've added the clip box and it always comes out a little bit uh, of an odd uh, angle here. So we'll just rough it out. We can go to our clip box toolbar and just generally sort of rough and spin this around so that we are a little bit more square with our walls. Now, one of the things that you uh, may or may not have done in the past is set up your, your project in a north, south, east, west uh, sort of fashion so that when you, you're working with it or you're exporting it, it's actually square. Um, now, there's a few different ways to do this. Uh, this is just an old school way that uh, uh, for this particular project will work. Uh, but let's just show how to do that. At the, the top right hand corner, you've got your settings option, the gear. And then we're going to go to switch user face, interface. Now, if you haven't worked in what is considered the old user interface, uh, there's some things about it that um, are actually, I, I believe, a little easier to use. So uh, in this case, we've got the option on the, the toolbar when we open up, let's just open up one of our quick views here. Okay. Now, as you can see on the toolbar, we can create a flat tar circular flat target, mark things like uh, planes, but you've also got a mark slab option. 
uh, it, it's, it's something that, you know, if you dig around in the new interface, you might find, uh, but it's not listed on the selections tab. So if we choose that and then we select one of our walls, we're going to, we're going to just select this one in front of us. And now we go to the slab identification on the tree on the left. And if we choose that, we right click it. Now, if we come down to alignment, you can see where it asks you, do you want to align it north, south, east, west, ceiling, ground, custom? This is where we're going to just say this is this particular wall is north. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is that when we go back in and create the uh, the map view, we want that map. We don't want it sitting at a, at a strange, odd angle. I just prefer to use this so that it squares up the uh, the project, the, the site view that we're creating and makes it a little nicer to work with. Now the top left hand corner, we can go straight back into the new user face. Now we can jump straight back into explore. And again, we are going to use this clip box and we're going to cut that down all right Now, we need to make sure, and in this case, what I'm concerned about is the exterior walls. So we've got uh, a solid exterior walls here. As you can see, we have less coverage of some of the, the, the interior walls. In this case, this is actually close to the ceiling. Uh, there's less on the left side than the right, and that's more a function of most of the scanning was done on the right side of this project and you just don't have a lot of scan data on the left but we do have decent exterior wall coverage so we're going to then go up to the overview map on the left hand corner on the top and then just ask to create it now, this is only going to take a couple of minutes uh, but as you can see what is finished is actually a pretty decent clean uh, site view uh, option uh, it's it's not going to be nearly as good as what you would, you know, uh, get from from your architect. But at the same time, if you need something rough to move forward with, uh, like I said, maybe building some digital twin work with the 360 camera systems, it's going to it's going to be enough to get you started. So we're going to quickly open that map. Everything looks pretty square. The bottom left hand corner we've got our scale and this is something that we can easily export and then utilize for you know any number of things you guys know more about what you need from the projects than we do but i hope this helps you out uh, if you have any questions if you've got anything that you'd like to see us work through for you on, on one of our videos please let us know anyway this is nick at atlantic laser scanning uh, our number is 800-955-3960. You can email us at info at atlanticlaserscanning.com. And again, our website is atlanticlaserscanning.com. Thank you.